Welcome back to Bloodborne PSX, everyone. Made it back to the sewers. The reason I say made back, made it back, is because one of the things about this game being as faithful as it is, is that it doesn't have an autosave feature. So somehow, as we go down the line, I'm gonna have to... Tr Whoa! Okay. That's an interesting move. Somehow I'm gonna have to pace out the episodes in a way that we can sort of end at a safe... <coughs> we can sort of end at a safe spot. I'm gonna cut out my coughing there, because that didn't sound healthy. Uh, yeah, because, well, obviously there wouldn't be fucking autosave on a PS1 game. I can't remember what the first game I played was that I had. Oh shit. That had an autosave feature. Um, okay, rats are as awful as ever. Hold on. Jesus Christ. I didn't expect this to be like the hardest encounter in the game. Are you all dead? Think they are all for a bunch of throwing knives. See you. The other thing, though, is that now that I was running back, one area where this game is way easier than standard Bloodborne is making the what the fuck is making the run back to an area because. Okay, let me just try not to die here. Because the thing is, as the areas are like divided up into uh, like different zones, like enemies can't follow you in between them. Nice. Uh, so that makes running past anything really, really easy. Uh, and this, I don't think I have. No, I don't. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, we are decked out. I'm gonna go down into that other area as well, but first I'm gonna climb the stairs. I figured out how this area sort of works together now, or like comes together. Don't know about the dimensions of this thing. Uh, it looks like <laughs> the ladder climbing. Yeah, PS1 games did have that where the character basically like floated in front of the ladder, but whatever. It looks like there is no equivalent to those like weapon wielding werewolves. This is where we'd normally drop down. Yes, yes. That was much easier. So, yeah, there are pros and disadvantages of the PS1 aesthetic, which, again, that was how it is what, how, well, God, I can't even talk. That's just how it was, is what I was trying to say. I think I have enough bloodstone shards now to upgrade my weapon again. Uh, as soon as I get to a lamp, we will do that. Like, that was one of the, I think the, definitely one of the greatest innovations in gaming in the past I don't know how many years is the autosave and being able to basically uh, stop your game anytime I mean even with, like with the newer consoles you can just uh, turn that shit off or put it into rest mode and pick off where you left off from because one of the shittiest things used to be when you were a kid or I don't know when you were a kid, but when I was a kid, even on PS2, like your fucking mom would call you for dinner or something. It would be, you'd need to go do something and there was just no save point. There was just nothing. Uh, Final Fantasy is an egregious, just to use fancy words, example of this, like the old Final Fantasies. 
They used to like not allow you to save jack shit. And sometimes in Final Fantasy VIII, oh fucking Final Fantasy X, even Final Fantasy X, I remember there was that goddamn sequence of fighting every. I'm not gonna get that. I'm gonna get killed if I try to get that. Although wait, there is a way to. How do you walk in this game? Uh, I forgot already. Mm. There was definitely a way to do it. Oh, there it is. I could probably do it, but I'm not gonna. Like when you fight Evre in Final Fantasy X. It's a long ass battle and it's a difficult battle and there's a fucking sequence after it too. And it's just no save points. And even after, like, until you get to the Cloister of Trials, there's no save point. That used to drive me wild as a kid. And there was one instance... Because I couldn't beat Evre. That was, like, the limit of... Young Mr. Sketchhead's Final Fantasy abilities was Evre. Uh, and one day I beat it, somehow. I'm dead. Fuck the rats. All my homies hate rats. Jesus, that is a long way back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I don't have consume. There is no consumable blood echoes in this game, right? Let me just check, because if there is... Cold blood. That's it. <laughs> Holy shit, this is... Convoluted. Uh, use it. It gives you 350. I wonder if it's enough. God, this guy, listening to this guy cough non stop is a little bit difficult. Uh, bro. Get that shit checked. I don't think 350 is enough. Let me just go check. Oh, wait, you don't even need. Damn, I like didn't make the connection that you don't actually need to have any of that shit. Like you don't need actual blood echoes to upgrade your weapon. Okay, we're gonna go back. Hopefully this is gonna make us a little bit stronger. Okay, let's see if I can demonstrate the Rumbeck strat. Because I kind of sold it uh, a while ago. So let's see if it actually does work. I see no reason it shouldn't, yeah. Plus, you know, the interesting thing is you run quick as hell in this game. Although you are pretty quick in standard Bloodborne as well, not gonna lie. And fuck you werewolves. Just one werewolf can't get me on the ladder. And then you just fall off. Yeah, so the strat worked. As you can very well see. And you kind of can do the whole thing. Uh, like this whole thing with all the enemies. Not gonna. God, rats are like, they're way too tough as well. Like, holy shit. Maybe I should just shoot it. See, the weapons do way more damage to enemies in the actual Bloodborne game. Don't they? Like, they pretty much one shot dogs and all that. Okay, so I'm just thinking, this, if I take this path, this should unlock the shortcut back to one of the bonfires. <laughs> I like it. Because falling down is one thing, but just like getting shot up. Naisu. What the hell, lock on please, cooperate. These, these things do like no damage. Believe me, I know it might be difficult to get across, but this game isn't that easy to control. Like, let me tell you, it's been a while since any game has had, <coughs> excuse me, this control scheme, and it's it's a little bit. It's a little bit of a doozy. Wretched outsider. 
Okay. Oh, you can hear the... It's a fucking Harry Potter theme. But you can hear the... Uh, the bell. Or uh, not the bell, the little music machine. You know why I said bell? I guess my brain must have like got its wires crossed because like the there was a YouTube video about this instrument called uh, clarion, which is basically a church filled with giant tuned bells that you can play. And the Harry Potter theme famously is made um, on that. Don't worry, fam, I got you. British child. Oh, you can't refuse. What a dick move. It's important to get this. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm sure all of that is gonna end just fine. So this is a fairly significant shortcut. Uh, I'm gonna head back down because I'm not, like, not starved for resources in it or anything like that. So we're gonna go back. And I love that. I, how come I've not noticed? I guess there hasn't been like area transitions with ladders before. But I just didn't notice that until now. What up? This is... A, This is not a bad, like, soul farming area, isn't it? Well, it's only 158, but y you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Even if I don't know what I mean, you guys know what I mean. Anyways, as of me making this video, big news, Elden Ring is, like, five days away. It's coming out, today's Sunday, and Elden Ringu is coming out on Friday, which is crazy, because a few months ago, you guys know, I made a video that, that when I talked about how Elden Ring is like never gonna come out, and believe me, at that point in time, <laughs> I just shot a dog, it, sh it certainly felt like it, it certainly did feel like Elden Ring was just like, basically non-existent, um... Now it's coming out this Friday, and the only thing I'm hoping is that it's going to be good. Well, I know it's going to be good, but there is a spectrum of, like, good uh, with Souls games. You know what I mean, in that, is it going to be Sekiro good, where it's like, okay, yeah, it's a, it's a cool game, but I don't want to, like, I have to be in a specific mood to want to replay it. Or is it going to be like Bloodborne or Dark Souls 1 or something where I'm like Elden Ring, Elden Ring, Elden Ring all day, all night. We'll just wait and see. I'm certainly optimistic due to the... Like, just the sheer variety of character classes. There seem to be magic weapons and all that. It's one of the things that's got me really hoping that this is going to be like, a, again, like a Bloodborne Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 1 situation. And interesting. Aren't you meant to be able to get on the other side of that? I guess not in this game. Not that that's an issue, really. It's weird coming from this angle. Usually I don't like do this. I go from the Eileen the Crow area. Speaking of, I've not like, oh shit. I'm gonna get blasted. No, I'm not. Oh, come on. And it's not dead, is it? No, it's not. 
I'll get to you later, don't worry. Doesn't open from this side, cool. So yeah, again, the only thing I can say is that uh, Elden Ring has me hella optimistic. I think it's going to be the game uh, for uh, this season of the Mr. Sketchhead show. I, I, I don't see it. I don't see there being another possibility, honestly. What the hell? Just went flying. Damn, I wish this thing... And I'm supposed to be the the gum build, aren't I? Like, man, I'm meant to do way more damage. Give me the insight. <laughs> Never mind the rats, they're just chilling until I pick up this insight. Yeah, PS1 games used to do this all the time too. Where you would be like fighting something and you'd enter a cutscene and the cutscene would just play and then all this chaos would be happening around you or like enemies are still alive but they're just like whoa this dude he's in a cutscene let's just not disturb him actually now that I'm here I'm gonna cut the run back out not to bore you but there's one more place I wanted to quickly check out And that place is right here. So I feel like... Yeah, there's definitely something. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Secret Discord tech area. Like, I got those. You just need to ask. Now, I'm gonna say it. This puts us into uncharted territory. Because this area does not exist in actual Bloodborne. So... You know, make of that what you want. That is a lot of poison. This feels very Tomb Raider-ish. I think I can definitely... Hell yeah. Told you. Don't go into water that's colored that and like that. You're pretty much inviting trouble. This is... I have no like clue where this might possibly lead. The area itself is very maze-like. It's probably just gonna lead to some elaborate ass treasure. But if we're here we might as well might as well take a look. Man I am really starving for a save point right about now. Not that I'm like ending the episode or anything, it's just... Cause... Oh... Clever. I'm all cool with that. Um, I still don't know... Aside from the fact that it just leads here. Whether there is like any benefit. Anyways, I'm gonna check out this side as well cause... The... Saw... Not the saw spear, because this is a saw spear. Or is that the saw spear? This is the saw cleaver. But that shit ain't here. I'm guessing weapons are not really coded. Or there aren't too many weapons coded in. Like even the hunter axe is missing. Alright, let's just get back up. Okay, so I'm going to stop wasting time just running around here. And let's just... <laughs> Did you hear that noise he made? Good for him. 
Uh, let's just move on. I'm gonna try finding Eileen the crow. We should be up here. If she's in the game. There... Oh shit. The AI of some of the enemies sometimes seems to crap out. But I don't know if that's just like... Something. Well, I mean, it is something, you know. It's a stupid thing to say. And I realized that the saw spear isn't there because I didn't cut it off. It's one of those weapons. Yeah, well, I'm I'm dumb. Is that... Am I gonna... Oh, yeah. You kind of got to be careful. Oh, man. It is not easy to tell what you can walk on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Milady? No, not that. Milady. Now we are looking much cooler. Fire up r slash just neckbeard things. And let's get a move on. Talking about ladies, there's one right here. Hunter. A hunter, are you? And an outsider. That is a pretty cool looking mask. Nice. That's gonna be useful, actually. A hunter must hunt. It's my best impression of her. Uh, a part of me is saying... Go back down and pick up the the weapon another part of me is saying I'm too lazy to do that uh, so which part of me will win I don't know this part blood spear wait a second that's not what it's the same thing all right whatever okay we gotta go all the way back to the top yes we do don't worry, power of editing is gonna save us. From boredom, at least. So you can't really avoid fighting this monster, but... No, you know what? I bet your ass you can. Yeah. I know them PS1 tactics, don't worry. So this is gonna lead outside, back into central Yarnum, which means we need to... We need to somehow get a shortcut. Oh shit, wait, isn't that supposed to be the old lady that like chews us out? They just decided to kill her for this, they're like, oh, fuck that NPC. Whoa, that, not sure the physics on that work, but cool. Secret? Secret nothing. Uh, I'm just trying to... Yeah, this is a... Okay, because you need to... I need to sometimes, like, think where I am exactly and how the sort of areas come together. Just not lose uh, track of where everything is. And this should lead back into the house, the manor. This has been like a big ass or long ass like little excursion. Because I, originally I was gonna fight the cleric beast, but just sort of fizzled out, so to speak. Okay, I need to get that torch here. Because it can't see shit. I don't think I've been to this area of the manor. No, yes, I have. Now here's the question. I'm at the end of the episode. I think. You know, because I have quite a bit to cut out here. I always lose track of time, but... 
Should we see the Cleric Beast? Or should we not see the Cleric Beast? Ooh! Could we get a more perfect parry? I don't think we could. Where are you? Come on. There's one more. Out of the air. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You know what? What is YouTube without a little bit of tension? Uh, I gotta keep my audience hooked, so... I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here on... Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Please tell me this doesn't start the God, it ruined my I ruined my own cliffhanger. Oh no, it still works. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Bloodborne here. Uh I need to go back to the lamp and then we'll pick it up from here. Probably I'll spend some souls as well. Still, sorry to cliffhang you, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If you did enjoy this episode of BB D Make, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.